At 7.57 a.m. local time on January 14, 2024, a new volcanic eruption began just north of Iceland's now fully evacuated town of Grindavik. This sadly occurred in one of the worst possible spots as not only did the first fissure partially bypass the lava barrier which had recently been constructed, but also was followed by the opening of a smaller fissure only 200 meters north of the town's edge. As a consequence, lava from this smaller fissure, which I deem to be erupting at about 6 cubic meters per second, has flowed into Grindavik proper and has already destroyed three homes. This total is likely to greatly increase in the upcoming days as lava continues to be effused at a high rate. Last minute efforts are being made to try and divert existing lava flows with dirt and heavy machinery, but there is no guarantee that these attempts will work. A major disaster is ongoing as the entire town of Greenovic, most notably its northern outskirts, are at risk of destruction. This is absolutely terrible, as I stepped foot in this very town a mere 17 months ago and I found it to be a comfy and cozy place. The good news is that all the town's 3,800 residents were reportedly successfully evacuated in the hours prior so no lives appear to be at risk. While the prior December 18th to 20th, 2023 eruption was preceded by a storm of earthquakes lasting only 90 minutes in length, today's eruption was preceded by a much longer period of 308 minutes. The increased amount of time allowed for everyone to successfully evacuate Grindavik. Due to the fact that lava flows are still advancing, I recommend that seawater hoses be utilized in an attempt to divert the advancing lava flows in addition to the current building of earthen walls. Despite the ongoing tragedy, as at least three structures have been destroyed, I want to highlight a positive note. All of the lava which erupted to the north of the 2-3 to three meter high earthen wall was successfully diverted away from Greenvik into a desired location. In other words, so far the lava wall is working, protecting the western half of Greenvik from complete destruction. As for the southern of the two fissures, all of the current options are bad and if attempts are made to divert it, we have to choose the least bad option. This could range from diverting the lava flow with barriers to the west to even making a pathway with dirt barriers on the side to control where exactly the lava advances. I feel absolutely terrible watching all of this unfold. After noting the four failed magmatic intrusions northwest of the town between 2020 and 2022, I personally thought that Green of Xdays were numbered and now it appears that I am sadly correct. However, even if it appears that the entire town might be lost, I encourage that efforts are still made to protect structures as it provides us an opportunity to practice diversionary methods in case lava ever starts heading towards an even larger city such as Reykjavik during a future eruption. Since the rate of lava effusion started out at about one-third of the December 18th eruption, aka 120 cubic meters per second, this suggests that the ongoing eruption might be similarly brief, perhaps even as little as 36 hours. Lava output as of 10 hours later appears to only be 25% of its original volume, with this fact being reflected in the background tremor. I can only hope that the smaller, closer fissure to Greenovic ceases its eruption as the expected process of vent constriction and consolidation occurs. In other words, I expect parts of the two fissures to become dominant until only a single spatter cone remains on a single active fissure. I deem the relevant spatter cone as most likely to originate on the northern of the two fissures, likely in its center. I caution that more fissures could technically open up further southwest of their current location although there is no indication that this is going to occur. Please stay away from Greenovic and the current eruption everyone and avoid closed off roads. I hope that miraculously we can somehow save the majority of this coastal town. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Felipe Segrist for supporting this channel via our Patreon page.